Now to the Florida Keys, where Monroe County Commissioners will take up a million dollar investment to help protect the health of its visitors. Local 10's Janine Stanwood shows us what's being planned to keep tourists safe. There is one way in and out of the Florida Keys by land, and more and more people are coming here, which is why the Monroe County Sheriff says upgraded helicopters are a must. We can't have helicopters down while we're trying to locate parts because if it's down, people die. Monroe County is considering shelling out up to $52 million to replace these 22 year old Trauma Star helicopters, which are no longer being manufactured, that take patients from the Keys to trauma centers in Miami. Like the pilot who crashed recently in water off Bahia Honda State Park. It's about 17 minutes by air to Jackson Memorial Hospital from the Upper Keys, under an hour from Key West. If we can get you to Miami in under an hour for any medical emergency, trauma, boat crash, heart attacks, and even strokes, you're going to come out of there in a lot better chance of surviving. These are two of three Trauma Star helicopters here in Monroe County. The Sheriff's Office says this is one of the busiest air ambulance programs in the country. The population and the tourism desire to come to Keys is not gonna diminish. It's only likely to increase. The Sheriff's Office says most air ambulance programs transport about 260 patients a year. But here in the Keys, more than 1,400 patients were flown in 2021. On the commission agenda for Wednesday, the board will consider making the purchase. The county says the money is coming from the already approved infrastructure sales tax paid mostly from tourism. The Monroe County Sheriff says there will not be an additional burden to taxpayers. Commissioners will begin their discussions Wednesday morning. We're in Key Largo. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.